What happens when you take a plucky group of five Mm -hmm. and take away their home? Chaos. Coming this fall. (laughs) A story about remembrance. A story about loss. A story about a reuniting. Coming this fall, Jared and Al watch K on episode number 32. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, hello. Hello. I'm Jared, that's Anladium. Hi, hi. We're talking about season two, episode number 17, entitled No Club Room. There's no club room. The Light Music Club is in a pickle because they are a month out from the school festival and they cannot pr- practice in their club room. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, that's what we're going to figure out today. Yep. Uh, the, they are, they're very much ready to go practice because, hey, like I said, a month away from the festival, we got to get all the practice we need in. Mm-hmm. We've got songs to perform, all that jazz. Songs uh, to write. They go to the club room and Miss Chaminaka is like, yeah, you're not going in there. Just, mm. They're like, what? Why? And she explains like, oh, there's a water leak in the ceiling. Um, so they're going to have to fix out all the pipes and one of the pipes runs through the light music club, club room. So you can't go in there. And they're like, what do we do? <laughs> and Michelle yeah. is like, all right, well, I'll, I'll try and pull some strings and get you somewhere. Uh, they, they, they wait for outside the club room. They're trying, they're going to go sneak a look in and she comes back and like, I couldn't do it. Uh, she suggests they go practice in their club room or their classroom, not the club mm-hmm. room. They can't go in there. Uh, <laughs> there's other students in the classroom. And they're like, oh, you're going to practice in here? Rad. Uh, so they get to, they practice a little bit. It's just like loud. And you just hear all, you see all these other like places in the school. It's like, what the heck is going on? Two people come in. They're like, yeah, can you not do that? And they're like, oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so they try and go to the gym. Which is where all the athletic clubs are, and one of them's like, "Yeah, you can use a spot over here. That's fine." And they're like, "Okay, let's do this. It's very hectic, but we have a little spot. Let's go." Uh, they begin to start practicing, but like they realize Mio isn't playing, and Mio's like enthralled in the volleyball practice. And they're like, "All oh, right, she's a secret sports fan." Um, they get ready to start practicing again, and the the baton club has like music start playing, and they're like, "We we really we can't we can't focus in here. This isn't good." Uh, so they go they back to the club. They also feel out of place. They do. They go back to the classroom and try and devise a new strategy. Uh, Yui realizes that they're back at square circle or circle one. And you know, I was just like, it's square one, you goof. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, so they go, they go, they go eat. They're going to, they're going to figure out a new song. Like, Hey, let's write a new song. Cause <laughs> Ritsu's like, yeah, Mio's new lyrics suck. <laughs> they're all about animals. Uh, Moogie has her song finished and they're good, but they they need another song, so they all agree to write a new song, and all of them are gonna write. Um, they come back the next day. They go talk to Miss Jamanaka. Miss Jamanaka's like, look, Miss Jamanaka is like, look, I tried getting the jazz club to to give you a place. They said no. I tried finding one of the conference rooms. Couldn't happen. I even tried to let you practice in the principal's office. Ain't gonna happen. There is literally no place you can go here to practice that is gonna be fine. And they're like, Whoa. <laughs> and then she she's like, "What if you go go rent out a practice studio?" And they're like, "Well, do we have the money for that?" Reese is like, hey, 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 "We have the money." And uh, so they're, they, they're happy that uh, Ritsu's like cheap. Yes. <laughs> so they go to that. Um, they're very much just like, "Oh, look at all this stuff here." Yui's like, look, I said there's a bunch of picks. Uh, Moogie like, sees there's a bunch of flyers for different like bands wanting new bandmates. He was like, oh, let's get a new bandmate. And they're like, oh, let's go to the studio. Uh, <laughs> they're very much distracted by the mirror that shows up there. Or it shows up there. It's in there. That lets they you kind of like, see. Crimping. Yeah. Uh, Moogie prepares tea. And then like one of the, s- the staff members is like, no no drinks or food in here. Sorry. I'm like, oh, well, we should go somewhere else to drink tea. So they go out to like, the lobby area. 
They have some tea. They discuss the new lyrics. Everyone goes around talking about their lyrics. Before we talk about the lyrics, the funny part about the tea thing is that, like, they they have the tea out, and then the guy is like, hey, we don't allow food or drinks in there. They're like, how can he see us? Why? It's like he knows. And, like, there there is a camera. He he can see everything. (laughs) And there's, like, a cut to, like, like, the security office or whatever, like, where the cameras are. And you see Yui just, like, waving at the camera. (laughs) It's amazing. She is a goof. Uh, so they go around and discuss uh, their their lyrics, mm-hmm. and we get the first look at one of Yui's songs. His she lo- talks about food. Uh, it is the first look at rice as a side dish. Ugh. Your favorite song. <laughs> Fight me. Uh, initially gets shot down at first, uh, as it bo- should. Yeah, you hush. Moogie is, reads her lyrics, and it's just like a weird detective story, and they're like, uh... Are these even lyrics? Azusa, like, talk, reads her. She's very nervous about it, and they first are like, oh, these sound pretty good. These sound pretty good. And then it's just it's just a song about Tone Chan. Yep. <laughs> and Yuri's like, you just wrote about feeding a turtle. <laughs> Ritsu just made a bunch of puns for titles that she didn't write lyrics for, so she's out. Yep. Um, and then Mio still has her problem. Uh, they go back into the the studio and, and they're like, "Oh, why is that light flashing? <laughs> Are they? Do they want us to dance? <laughs> this is part of like the 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 whole song and dance." And it's no, it's you're out of time. You're gonna up. go. Uh, they're like, "Well, that was a waste of money." <laughs> they're walking home and uh, Miss Shawanaka is like, "Hey, yo, the club room's fixed. You can go back. You'll be able to, to go back there tomorrow." And they're like, yay, give us a ride. And she's like, no, I can't drive five people. <laughs> uh, Yui's also like discussing on the way home about like losing things and the feeling of loss and all this weird stuff. <laughs> and they're yep. like, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, they get to go back to the club room and Yui's like, it's been so long. It's been 80 years. <laughs> it's been one week. Let's have tea. Me. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> Uh, after after that, they we see Yui at home with Ui, and Yui's struggling to come up with lyrics and figure them out. Ui looks over, rice is the side dish, and is like, this is great! This is original! You should totally do this! And she Yui's just like, The reception hmm. wasn't very good. Yeah. Yui's like, hmm, I'm gonna stay up and write lyrics. Yeah. Uh, the next day, everyone else is like not really doing good, and then Yui's like, I got more songs! And they're like, these are actually kind of good. Like, what? She's like, I had a teeny bit of help from Ui. And they're like, yeah, it was a lot of help, There's probably. Lot of help from... <laughs> uh, Ui's very sleepy because she did stay up all night, or most of the night. And like, hey, don't do that. You're going to get a cold again. Don't. I have Mikan power. Mikan power. Yeah, she's turning into Chica. Yep. Like, she literally starts off the episode talking about how she's been dr- eating a bunch of oranges that her, her hands are turning yellow. Orange, yeah. She is turning into Chica. It's true. Uh, later that night, Mio gets a call from Yui and and Yui's like sick, cold, and Mio's like ah! What they all did rush I over. Say? They all rush over, and Yui's like, "Ooh, he's sick. I don't know what to do." And they're like, I thought you were sick." <laughs> and then Ui's like, "Hey, everyone, would like, you like yes, some yes, tea?" Yes. And they're like, "Ah! <laughs> You're gonna drop everything." Uh, they they get Ui to bed and. <laughs> and Yui's like, I don't know if I can take care of her by myself. And they're like, you'll be fine. And then Yui's like, hey, it's okay, Big Sis. I'll help you if you need to figure out what to do. And they're like, no, go to bed and rest. <laughs> so they all leave. Um, and they're like, hey, if you need anything, call us. We'll be back here. We'll, we'll figure this all out. Yui goes back to Ui. He's like, I'll stay here. And Yui's like, no, if you stay here, I won't sleep. I'll be worried. And then he was like, I'll go make you food. <laughs> you rest. And then you just hear all this like clanging and crashing and banging going down, downstairs. And he's like, and- I need to sleep, but I'm going to be more worried. <laughs> uh, it cuts to Yui like making some porridge and she's like thinking about lyrics and just like thinking about, you know, things that are lost. And then they come back and she's really, she's, you know, she's, she's really putting her thoughts to this and trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, the next day, Yui wakes up. She's like, oh, I'm feeling better feeling pretty good uh she sees yui like over by her desk is like conked out 
um, the food that has been left there overnight. Uh, it was rice porridge, but also there's like an egg on top of it. Yep. <laughs> and it was like, why would you put an egg on porridge? What? Um, and then she like she realizes also that, like Yui's like laying on paper, and then she sees a a new song that she has wrote entitled "You and I," about kind of like the, all the feelings that she's been like bought or like kind of had over the past couple of days. She she was able to produce lyrics for and everything. Um, very emotional scene if you know the context of you and I, which you will hear shortly. I got misty eyed during that part. Okay, I didn't, so I don't know what's going on. You will you will later when you realize like the context of that song. Okay. Um. So, we, so why are we not getting context now? You will for like the fe- the festival when they perform it. Okay. Um. So the next day, uh, Yui goes back and shows off the new lyrics, and they're like, "This is great." Like these are really good, um. So they they finalize their vote. They're gonna use that song, and they're also gonna use rice as a side dish. <laughs> and they're also like, "Hey, Yui, you did great. Like, a c- good job on this. Don't get sick." They're actually really proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that is how we end this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh. But we will not hear Rice's a side dish until the festival. That is where that will be performed. Uh, so next time we will be discussing a season two episode number 18 entitled Leading Role. Which is where we get into what the uh, what uh, the Light Music Club's class will be doing during the school festival. And uh, who will be getting some certain parts for what they are doing. It's about to get very Shakespearean and up in here. You guys, rice can be a meal if you want it to be. <laughs> or it can be a side dish. Or no. It can be both. It can be. Don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> but calling it only as a side dish is not not accurate. Look, you, you're going to hear the lyrics of that song and just realize that it's a love letter to rice. And you're like, yeah, Yui, I agree. I mean, rice is delicious, and it should have a love letter to it, but, like... Also, it's not saying is a side dish. It's rice as a side dish. It's mm-hmm. saying it can be a side dish. It's not de- de- definitively saying, hey, rice is only a side dish. Good, because it's not. <laughs> I love how upset you get about this. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, next time we'll d- we'll dive into the beginning parts of of the festival, or getting ready for the festival, and... Shakespeare's gonna be like, yo, what's up, my dudes? Yo, it's me, yo. Shakespeare. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Uh, so that will happen next time, but for now, if you would like more from us, go to SeasonLandMeCheckup.com or SCC.Cools, where you can find past episodes of this podcast and the other podcasts, like SeasonLandMeCheckup and SeasonLandMeCheckup OVA, and you can find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Ann Ladium, go to AnnLadium.com. She's got columns and reviews, and you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash AnimeCheckup. So next time, we will be discussing who gets the leading role. Da-ba-bum.